Welcome to 2 News at Noon. This is a huge day for public safety employees and for the city. Yeah, celebrations today mark the grand opening and a chance for regular folks to see what's so special about this. Amy Nay joins us now from the new building downtown. It is beautiful, Amy. Oh, it's spectacular, Rod and Mary. I just took a little tour here before they get this ribbon cutting ceremony going. And it is really beautiful inside with pictures showing the history of the Salt Lake City Fire and Police Departments now coming together for the first time. You said soon to be fully operational. They'll actually come together by the fall. But today is the official ribbon cutting and grand ceremony. And they are doing it in style. Attention! The stewardship and responsibility that comes with this building that the public has now entrusted us with is significant. Salt Lake City Police Chief Chris Burbank with a promise this morning to the citizens of Salt Lake. We'll do an excellent job. By bringing the headquarters of police and fire here, as well as housing the Emergency Operations Center, Chief Burbank says Salt Lake will be better served. It will thrive in this new facility. Salt Lake City Fire Department Chief Kurt Cook agrees. This newly designed space will provide the organization, structure, resources, and tools necessary to effectively, safely, and, and uh, collaboratively manage any major event that we may face. Saying it fosters a sense of community for those who serve. And this building isn't only a first here in Utah, but it's first of its kind when it comes to environmental concerns. The new public safety building is the first public safety building in the nation to be net zero. Meaning it generates as much energy as it uses through advanced technology like radiant flooring, a chilled beam system, and 73,000 total square feet of solar panels. At a flag-raising ceremony this morning, a sea of blue as police and firefighters stood side by side, united as they saluted the colors going up at what will be their new home. And the home of the brave. And the music continues here downtown. Of course, we're here on 3rd East between 5th and 6th South in downtown Salt Lake, where that ribbon cutting ceremony is about to get underway. They've got some local musicians playing as the crowd arrives. And you may have seen, at least a lot of people were gawking at the guys hanging from high above. We understand that firefighters from Heavy Rescue over at Station 5 are going to be essentially zip lining from the public safety building to the building right next door. And that's how they'll be doing this ribbon cutting. Of course, we'll be covering it all for you right Right here in downtown Salt Lake at the brand new public safety building. Ron and Mary. They're doing it in style, that's for they sure. Are. And it, it is awesome. I was it's there beautiful. about a month, month and a half ago, and Amy, I tell you, it's, it's pretty oh. incredible. The views looking out are, are uh, awesome. They are, and you know they have a lot of art already here. Yeah. They have a beautiful, almost like a replica of the jelly bean they have in Chicago, and oh. another piece of art here. It's really spectacular. Yeah, we'll cool. see it all. Thanks, Amy. All right, thanks.